Your pelvis is a pivoting place for postural balance. And the balance between your hip flexor muscles in the front and your hip extensors is essential for balancing the pelvis on your legs when you are in a standing upright posture. Therefore, let's do a brief test to see where your hip flexor, hip extensor balance is at. If you would like to join me on the mat, you can come into a slightly different pigeon pose and it's not an exercise we're going to do, it's a test. Your front knee is bent, you are resting your pubic bone on the heel of the front leg and then you can rest your upper body. Keep your upper body completely relaxed, keep your pubic bone and your heel in contact and then extend your back knee. The back knee is now off the floor and then lift the whole leg. So the whole leg is just hovering above the floor, pubic bone on the heel, upper body relaxed. And then you can relax your leg back and down. How did that go? Did the leg come off the floor? <laughs> try on the other side, not try on the other side, do on the other side and just see how that goes on the other side. And while you're doing this test, I will tell you what we are actually testing. We are testing three different things, almost four. One is, does your hip joint have the degree of extension that would be optimal. It's very, very small, maybe 10 to 20 degrees, so very little, but does your joint actually extend that far so you can lift the leg off the floor? And then the other thing we are testing is, do your hip flexor muscles have enough length? And that was my half point. The muscles, of course, are connected to fascia. So the other question I would ask myself is, is the fascia, your tendons and other hip flexor associated fascia, is it adaptable enough? And then the definite third point is, are your hip extensors strong enough to lift this leg off the floor? Your hamstrings alone, probably not going to lift off the floor. You need your gluteus maximus to help you lift the leg. If you have done it on the other side, you can now come up into kneeling. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it works on one side, but not the other side. And it informs us. Maybe there is an imbalance and wherever there, whenever there's something that's not quite balanced, there is an opportunity to recreate or sustain balance. Here is an exercise I would like to do with you, regardless if you could lift the leg off the floor or not, to sustain or recreate balance between your hip flexor muscles and the associated fascia, as well as your hip extensors. You are in high kneeling with the legs parallel. You can place your hands to the front of the pelvis and then you sit halfway back, fold forward. This is your hip extensor muscles working. And then you tilt the pelvis back and you're curling up. Let's do this a few more times. So you sit back, your hip extensors, hip extensor muscles work, controlling how far you go, and they engage together with your abdominal muscles to lift you back up. Also engaged are your quadriceps muscles. Now, while your abdominals and your hip extensors work, getting stronger to perform this movement, you also lengthen your hip flexor muscles in the front. So it's a beautiful exercise to create openness in the front, muscularly, create fascial adaptability, if that's what's needed, and then combine it with strengths in your hip extensor muscles. A beautiful exercise to incorporate into your practice. If you would like to learn more about functional movement anatomy, join me in the online course Anatomy 201 at yogajournal.com.